I'm Sarah with Custom Pilates and Yoga, and today I'm going to discuss how to adjust the Aspen Vista collar. Now this right here is my own collar. When I broke my neck um, June 30th of 2017, this little beauty is what they put on me in the hospital, and I got to wear it for three months. So if you have just gotten your Aspen Vista. If you're learning how to work it, I'm going to go on through what you need to do and some other information um, that you might find helpful. So the collar has got three pads to it. You've got this pad here in the front top. You've got this pad here in the front bottom, and then this pad that goes along in the back. Now, when you get sweaty, when you get filthy, these pads will get dirty or they'll just kind of feel uncomfortable on you. And it's really important for you to know right now, they're replacement pads. Now it's possible when you got your neck brace, wherever you got that, uh, hospital was where I got mine. So it's possible they would give you a replacement set of pads. However, if they haven't, you check what kind of neck brace you have and go on Amazon. Lots of times you can find replacement neck pads on Amazon. Um, these replacement pads that I got for this, it's silly. They're almost the whole price of a whole new neck brace. But the important thing is this plastic structure of the neck brace is what your doctor has adjusted for you. Um, you don't want to start from scratch. So if you have the choice, buy a whole new collar, buy a set of pads, I would completely recommend you buy a new set of pads. Now, to adjust your collar, I'm going to take this apart. There are Velcro straps here on the Aspen Vista, and they really nicely give you a front part and a back part. It's this front part that you can adjust. The back part is adjusted to you via these Velcro straps. However, the up and down position of your chin is controlled by this little lighter green piece of plastic here, and that is controlled by the knob. Right here, that little circle with the yellow dot is your adjustment knob. And you can pull that out. Maybe I can pull mine out and turn. You pull it out and then you turn and it helps to adjust that up and down. And then you release and it comes in and it sets. Um, absolutely follow your doctor's orders about how you need to have your neck brace adjusted. Um, but my doctor told me that I wanted to be set up in neutral with my chin down. Okay, so when you're, um, if something happens, if you feel like you need to adjust your collar, you want to be in that position where you're nice and neutral and your chin should be down just a little bit as opposed to up like we tend to like to do. Okay, now putting your collar back on can be a tricky thing and I'm going to walk you through that. When I had my broken neck, I got to take my collar off to take showers and that was the only time and it was always a little bit stressful for me because I just wasn't sure when I put it back on if I got it on right and I always wanted it to be on right because otherwise things wouldn't heal correctly. So once you have your collar set up, you're all clean, your collar's adjusted. You're gonna take your collar, and I always did my front part first. So you get yourself set, and you should be able to rest your chin on the plastic. Let me see. Okay, there. With my playing with the knob, it kind of moved it. So here's my neutral. Now, anybody who has hair, even if your hair is pretty short, Getting this back piece on is a little bit of effort. So if you have a uh, friend nearby, you might have them hold your hair for you. But the next step, once you've got it set in the front, you're gonna move your hair kind of up and out of the way, and then you put your back piece on. Now, to get it set up, for me, I have to tuck in my ends of the front of the collar. So I get that set and then I can bring my straps around. Now, once again, 
you might want to go back in and try to scoot your hair up out of the way. Otherwise, it does tend to get kind of crammed down in there. And then your neck collar's on and ready to go. Okay, so there's how to put it back on and how to adjust it. And I'm going to show you also how to change the pads. So these pads are secured on here with Velcro. And you would take off the old pads. And I didn't bring my replacements with me, so I'll just put these back on. So here's what this looks like with no pads on it. And then I always put my neck one, like the chin cradle part of it, first. And I try to get that centered. And you want it to be set up so that your chin is not uncomfortable from the plastic. Right, that makes sense. And then go ahead and press into the Velcro. So as I go, when I put this on, you notice I've got a little bit of foam edging all the way around, as opposed to having it go flat. If it went flat, the very edge of my chin might press into that plastic, and that's totally undesirable. Now then, for the bottom part, we've got this notch at the base cut out for this one, and that goes right where your adjusting piece goes. So fit that down there at the bottom, and then you'll notice as you come on out that this sort of snugs right up by the inside of that top piece. I've got a little bit of a gap over here on this side, but this piece is all nice and flush and beautiful. Now, when you're going to take the pad off of the back, you've got your Velcro strap that goes through here, and that's really kind of what holds everything on. Now, you'll notice with the Velcro strap, it is hooked onto a piece of plastic right here. I don't think you wanna mess with that. We found that the best way was to do like a shoelace and just unlace the first part of the Velcro strap from each side. and then start removing the pad. Now there's Velcro um, to keep that pad in place on the back here, and you can see little bits of Velcro, and it's, it's pretty sticky. <laughs> it, they're really working to keep these pads in place to keep you safe. So then, because we haven't undone too much with the Velcro strap, when you go to put this in place, you notice there's the triangle here in the middle, and you're gonna try to get that lined up with this triangle piece of plastic right here. And then just press down. You should pretty easily be able to loop your Velcro strap through on each side here, because there's plenty of space, and then you're going to lace it through and then tighten up. Now on the corners, make sure that this strap sort of goes through that notch that they've provided. You can see I got this corner over here a little high. I might try to scoot that before I get everything all set just to make sure it's as comfortable and supportive as possible. Okay, and now my collar's all ready to go. I hope that this has helped you learn how to adjust your Aspen Vista collar safely and given you some good ideas about how to have a less stressful time wearing your Vista. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more information on my journey healing a broken neck, come on out to my website, www.custompilatesandyoga.com. Thank you.